Hey everybody, it's Rob here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Swagman XC 2 bike platform rack on our 2019 Toyota Highlander. Now our Swagman bike rack is going to allow us to carry two bikes to and from the trail pretty easily. That way we can take maybe a friend with us or a family member and take a bike ride. Now we're not we're only going to have one point of contact holding the frame. Our wheels are going to be held in wheel trays, so we're going to have a total of three points of contact holding our bike in. You can see the wheel's just going to sit right into this tray, and then in the center here, we're going to have this post with a nice padded hook to make sure our bike isn't going to be moving around too much. But let's go ahead and pull our bike off so we can get a closer look. Now, whenever you do go to unhook the wheel hook here or the frame hook here, you know, make sure you have a firm grip on your bike because you don't want it to fall into your Highlander. We'll come to this button, I'm gonna press in, and we can lift up. That'll move the hook out of the way. And we just wanna bring our bike around. We can set it off to the side. So now with the bike out of the way, we can take a closer look at these trays. The trays are gonna be able to hold up to a three and a half inch wide tire, so we got a pretty good variety of bikes that it can carry. Not to mention, if we loosen up these turn knobs, the trays actually slide in and out, so that way we can kind of stagger our bikes to get that perfect fitment. Definitely helps out when you're trying to avoid having the handlebars come in contact, the pedals, or even the seats. So we can move the one that's closest to the vehicle one way, and then possibly move this one the other way, and have a lot of different options of how we can get everything in there. Same thing kind of goes for the hooks. You'll notice that we have a long hook and a short hook, and that's so that we can get the hooks onto the frame and make sure they have good contact without having to stagger them or be exactly the same height. And the way they're gonna secure down is they're actually ratcheting, so we don't have to push any levers. We can just simply push it down, and it locks it into position. You gotta push the button to release it. So once you have your bikes on, just push them down. It'll cinch it down against the frame and hold them really nice and secure. Now I know we've all been in that situation. We get to the trail, get our bikes off, we get ready to ride, and somebody forgot something in the back of the car. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't wanna crawl from the front of the seat front of the car all the way to the back seat. I really don't want to have to pull the bike rack out, but with this post right here in the middle, we're not going to be able to get our hatch open. Well, if we come to the very bottom of that post that's here in the center of the mass, we can pull this pin. This is a little ball bearing on there, so we don't have to worry about switching it. We can just pull, that ball bearing will move out of the way, and we can actually rotate the mass down. We'll line up the other hole, put our pin back in, and now we have plenty of room so that we can open up our rear hatch, get whatever we need, come over to the side between our rack and the vehicle. Plenty of room to grab what we got and close up our hatch. So it is pretty convenient to get inside the rear hatch, but having the ability to carry two bikes with you does come with a cost. As you can see, we are adding a little bit of space to the back of our Highlander, so I would like to give you a few measurements. If I measure from the very back of the bumper to this furthest wheel tray, that's probably gonna be the furthest point out, it's gonna be right about 20 inches. So you wanna keep that in mind for any kind of tight spots, parking spots, or maybe even pulling your garage. Now at the closest point to our bumper, it's probably gonna be at one of the other wheel hooks. That's gonna be just under eight inches. So we got plenty of clearance here. We should never really have to worry about the rack coming in contact with the rear bumper. Now another important measurement is gonna be the ground clearance. Typically at the very back of the rack, if we're going up a really steep hill, you wanna keep an eye back here. So from the ground to the bottom here, it's coming in right about 18, 18 and a half inches. So we should have plenty of space here, really shouldn't have to worry about bottoming out. Now the XC is designed to work with a wide variety of hitches. You can see that we have this sleeve here, and that's because it's gonna work with two inch as well as inch and a quarter hitches, and it does come with an anti-rattle bolt. It's gonna make sure that our rack is secure and even if I shake the rack, you can see the entire car is moving. There's no play inside the receiver tube. So we're not gonna hear any of that annoying rattling sound and have the rack sitting there bouncing around. 
Now there is one more position for our bike rack and that's gonna be more of a storage position. Whenever you're done with it and you wanna take it out and you wanna maybe put it in your garage somewhere, we can remove that pin from earlier. We'll stand the center mast back up, line up the pinholes so we can get it right in the standing position again. Now we wanna to come to the outside pin. We'll pull these. This time we're gonna rotate the arms up We'll line up our pinholes, put the pin in place, and do the same thing for the other side. And now, Whenever you do take it out of your hit, it'll be in a nice, neat little package. It won't be so wide, it'll be a lot easier to find somewhere to store it. My personal opinion of this rack, I do like this rack. It's not quite as user-friendly as I would like. A lot of racks uh, typically have a lever instead of a pin and clip, so these can be a little finicky, but it's a great value rack. It's a great option to get into a bike rack that's a platform style, not have to break the bank, but still have a functioning two bike rack, if, especially if you're not using it every day all the time. But if you do have an expensive bike, maybe a carbon road bike, I really would not suggest using this rack for that kind of bike because this uses frame hooks. And with those bikes, you really prefer to have no frame contact and really have more wheel straps or wheel hoops to hold everything in place. Let's go ahead and take a look at our bike rack out on our test course and see how it performs. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. But again, I'm Rob here at eTrailer.com, and that'll finish up your look at the Swagman XC 2-Bike Platform Rack on our 2019 Toyota Highlander.